welcome back once more and let's practice this uh, 2d drawing in autocad so first of all let's get the dimension clear and then we can start drawing so if you watch this carefully we have the inside here looks like more of like a key some keyways okay so we have three circles in here this outer one you can see the diameter is giving out here 82 and then we have the one at the top here that is to the highest of where the key is you have 64 and if you check the lower side that is this side is 55 millimeters okay and at the bottom here we have two circles actually the small the smaller circle there are six one two three four five six and the diameter for each is 12 millimeters and the radius for this end you can see is shown here 12 and the center to center distance between these two is 82 millimeters the height distance from this side that is the center to this point here that is the center point of this circle is 35 and uh, we have this arc which is the center line for these two circles or these four circles so the lower one is having a radius of 77 and then the, the distance between the two of them is 20 so basically it will be 97 and then the radius for this thing that is this arc over here is 13 so the same thing will be here now there's an angle the angle from this line to the center line is 30 degrees the same thing up here okay so let's open the autocad and then start drawing from this side so we'll deal with this side first so just go for your center diameter now the first diameter is 82 you can, uh, you can see so let's do that 82 now zoom out and the second one which is this you use 64 so pick center diameter again go to the center 64 and then this one over here is 55 so center diameter 55 all right so we have all the three now I'll draw a line from the center to the top here good and now if you look at the distance if you watch the gap between these two that is seven so i'll ha i'll just have to offset this line 3.5 so select offset then specify your distance 3.5 and press enter then offset to both sides now you can trim this one and the top if you watch there's an SS line here so trim that one and here okay you can even trim the inside as well and then trim this good so now we having this you are going to use the polar array to rotate this one 12 now it's, it's a 12 in number so 1 2 3 4 5 six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve it's twelve in number so just go to array select polar array now select these lines alone press enter it will ask you for the center point this is my center point now enter the item number which is 12 and then close it so you need to trim the inside lines so that you get a nice work okay so we are done with this side now if you watch carefully there's this circle over here this bigger circle is having a radius of 53 so I'll draw that just pick center radius from the center here I just draw 53 now from here I'm going to draw a line from the quadrant of this circle downward 35 okay so pick the line command that is from the center here so it will be from this side go down 35 
okay now we can trim this circle from this place all right now let's try and draw this circle now if you watch the radius for this corners here is 12 millimeters so for the 12 millimeters when you add it you would have to add it to the 35 okay so 35 plus 12 is going to give you 47 basically if you don't want to do it that way you can also pick the circle command this is diameter 12 so you can just pick the circle center diameter and then just bring your mouse to this point and then just drag it inside enter 12 for the radius of this so the distance from this point to this point will be 12 because of the radius all right so now the diameter is 12 so let's draw 12 good now we can mirror this select it use the shortcuts mi for mirror and then just press no so we have it here now let's draw the circle this circle with radius 12 and you see it will just be at the exact point so pick center radius then enter 12 you see it has become in line with the line over here which means it's right so select this you can copy if you want select the base point and put it here good now we need to do some trimming and erase this line good. so let's draw a line from this end to this point and do SS trimming all right so if you watch we are done with the with this part we are done with the down part now let's move to the top now for the top I'm going to draw a straight line let me just draw a straight center line okay and then I'll draw another line now the angle form here is 30 degrees now remember AutoCAD is reading angle anti-clockwise okay and the angle form actually here will be zero so zero one two three four to this side so which means the angle from this point to this point we have to subtract this 30 from angle 90 and we are going to get 60 so you just just draw a line of any length again press tab enter your angle of 60 and then this place will become 30 so there's 60 from here so let me just demonstrate it to you the angle from this point is zero okay so zero one two three up to this side is 90 so now we want angle 30 over here so if you want 30 you just have to subtract this 30 from the 90 and this side will be what 60 so this 60 is out we don't need it we need this one all right so now if you want to be sure you can just measure and you see it's 30 all right so let's mirror this let's just mirror it good now if you watch the radius for the first lower part is 77 so center radius from the center 77 and then the distance between the two is 20 so the second one two will be 97 because 77 plus 20 give you 97 okay so let's trim now basically if you watch these circles are all the same that is six number of circles and the diameter all of them is 12 so we can copy this one and just put them here so let's just select this one and copy and put them here at the center point they are basically the same all right now we need to draw a circle of radius 13 so pick center radius enter 13 let's copy it to this side okay so let's do some trimming trim this line this line 
now you can see there is a line here all right at the same angle so what you do is you just offset this one uh 13. so let's just pick offset enter your distance of 13 select this line come here same thing good now let's do some trimming here let's trim all the unnecessary lines that we don't need let me delete this line okay so we don't even need this one down here we can select these SS lines and delete them good now now we have to complete the work by filleting this side you can see there is uh, an arc here the fillet here 12 the same thing here so to do that you can just pick the fillet command pick radius and then enter 12 okay so select this line now you see when you use the fillet command it's erasing this line so we have to use the other one which is tan tan radius so select that one click here click here enter 12 now the same thing click here click here enter 12 repeat again here here 12 and for the last time here and here 12 now let's trim so we we'll trim this we we'll trim this side let's trim all the unnecessary lines all right so if you watch we are almost done with the work good so if you watch carefully this is what we are supposed to do and we have achieved it nicely now we need to add dimension to our work so to add dimension i would like to create a layer so let me create a layer for my dimension go to the layer properties click new here and then give it a name and then i'll change the color to let me use um let me use yellow and then also i'll just change the default line to 0 0.25 if not it will pick the default one good now i'll create a different layer for center line i'll just want to create a different layer for center line then i'll use let me use this color and then i'll change the line type to short dash so let me choose center line over here this one no this border so i'll pick this center line okay let me close it now the reason why i'm doing that is because of these angles and lines we have to dimension it all right so i'll pick center line pick the line command and then i'll draw all my center lines accordingly so that it will help me dimension my work nicely good so let's uh, Pick circle. All right. Let me extend this a bit to the top. All right. So if you watch, 
now we have almost our center lines so we can go ahead and then dimension our work now I'll put center marks also here so you can go to annotate click center mark now click this circle and this one and we have our center marks all right so let, let me start the dimension so I'll go for the dimension layer which is this and then I'll pick linear and from this point to this point as a center point I'm getting 35 and also a down linear from here to here 82 good so that is all for our linear now let's pick radius so radius for this point 13 radius again for this point it's 12 repeat 12 and then um let me choose radius for this point so repeat it's 53 now if you watch let's go for diameter diameter for this 82 and this also is diameter i guess let's see yeah they are diameter so repeat this one 64 repeat the inside one which is 55 good now let's pick linear for this point this thickness which is 7 all right so basically seems we are done with now the distance over here so for that one we can use a line let's pick from this point to this point 20 good so if you watch basically and this side also radius 12 all right so this is what is expected but our dimensions seem very small so i'll just use the dimension style so you can just press on the d the letter d okay this will open the dimension style manager will open go to modify symbols and arrow now change it to any size you want i want five five is okay and then it takes to change the height to five and now you see they are more visible and clear now thank you all for watching please don't forget to like share and subscribe to the channel for more videos and projects like this in autocad See you in my next tutorial.